you've got $1,000, and ZK Sync is trading at 0 0.691, which gives you approximately 1,547 ZK tokens. This isn't a random altcoin. It's a layer 2 protocol for Ethereum with real infrastructure and scaling potential. But you're not investing in the tech. You're trading the token. The price is in early formation following its Binance listing, which means volatility is high, liquidity is growing, and opportunity exists inside those moves. So instead of reacting, you structure. You apply Arima 111 to capture short-term trend direction and layer in Garch 11 to quantify volatility, especially important for newly listed assets where candles stretch and sentiment whips quickly. The forecast is centered at 0 0.691, with a 95% confidence range from 0 0,555 to 0 0,850. That's your trading zone. If ZK climbs to 0 0,850, you're a thousand dollars grows to 1,030. If it holds around the model mean, your capital remains near break even. If it drops to 0 0.555, you're sitting at 803, a clear, modeled 190 hunter drawdown. These aren't feelings. They're statistical endpoints. That alone changes how you manage entries, exits, and expectations. Technical indicators support the modeling. RSI sits at 51, neutral and stable. MACD is compressing at the midline. Volume is rising and volatility bands are beginning to contract, a setup that often precedes directional expansion. But you don't need to predict which way. It's already built into the corridor. You're not trading hopes. You're working within forecasted limits. Most people buy listings expecting fireworks. You're defining what happens if that firework is a dud or a spike. Whether ZK makes you $230 or costs you $197, it happens within boundaries you calculated before pressing buy. And that's what separates structure from emotion. With only 1,447 tokens, every 10 cent move means something. That's leverage without leverage, if modeled correctly. Fear and Greed Index sits at 62, showing healthy optimism but not mania. That confirms you're trading in an active market, not an overheated one. The asset doesn't need to be explosive. It needs to be predictable enough for your models to matter. You're not playing the layer 2 trend. You're trading variants. This isn't about believing in ZK. It's about positioning inside what it statistically allows. You already know the high. You've planned for the low. That removes surprise and creates space for clarity. While others watch charts wondering what next, you've already outlined three scenarios and accepted all of them. That is process-driven confidence. It's not flashy, but it scales. And for a thousand position, that quiet structure beats every guess.